Hello, and welcome to our virtual Elecom Capstone project presentation. We are Team Exmos, and our project is the Exmos License Plate Cameron Reader. Our technical director is Andrew Cavanaugh. He's an algorithm engineer at Exmos. He also is a URI graduate. He earned his degree in 2008 in electrical engineering. He also was able to take part in the Capstone project while he was here. He then went on to get his PhD at WPI. Our team is composed of two capstone designers. We have Steven Anzavino, who is majoring in computer engineering, and myself, Kyle Nanig, who is majoring in electrical engineering. Exmos is a relatively new company that designs low-cost, high-performance, artificial intelligence-optimized microprocessors. They're headquartered in Bristol, United Kingdom, although they have an office locally in Hampton, New Hampshire. They're at the forefront of the far-field voice interface market, and even are integrated into Amazon's Alexa, where they use their microprocessor for artificial intelligence solutions. The main project motivation is the emerging Internet of Things market. This Internet of Things will require powerful microprocessors to enable the kind of intelligence desired from products in our daily lives. Exmos aims to provide solutions in this area with their new generation chip, the Xcore AI XS3. This microprocessor is capable of a wide array of solutions from image processing to audio processing to any AI application you can think of. It's important to be able to process on the edge of a network as you do not have to send the data all the way back to a data server, which is expensive in terms of both electricity and then in money. The anticipated best outcome of the project is a fully integrated prototype using Xcore AI to enable artificial intelligence license plate reading. We aim for our prototype to have over 80% accuracy, as well as real-time processing and data retrieval, either through USB or ideally through Wi-Fi. Some additional outcomes would be a radar sensor to increase the accuracy of the prototype, low light performance, and ideally Wi-Fi interaction. Our project can be loosely broken up into electrical engineering and computer engineering tasks. Although many of these tasks are done jointly and we aim to have both sides of the equation integrated at all times to be up to speed with all elements of the prototype. Our team's major technical accomplishments include setup of XCore testing environments on both of our personal machines. We received hardware from the company with their Explorer boards with their new generation artificial intelligence chips. Because these are of a small batch of existence, we had to thoroughly test the new XCore boards as the, there's not been time for sufficient documentation to take place. We've also selected a proper neural network for our application. We found that layers of convolutional neural networks are the best as they've often been used for image identification applications. We've also accumulated a robust data set that will allow us to test our neural network and ensure that it's working properly in a variety of potentially challenging situations. We've also retrained and optimized this neural network to our specific requirements as a license plate reading project. Some of my individual technical contributions include identification of the neural network. We actually decided after some research to use two neural networks, one that identifies the region of interest where the license plate is actually located, at which point the image is cropped to that area, signal processing is applied, and the characters are segmented with the green boxes that you see to the right of the screen. These characters are then fed to the second neural network, which identifies the numbers and letters within them. I also contributed to network training. Most digit recognition data sets will contain things such as cursive letters that you won't see in license plates. So we removed those data, data points and retrained in the URI AI lab in order to reduce the size of our network. I also contributed to the plate identification algorithm optimization. Uh, there were several parameters in this algorithm that had to be optimized. Some of them include minimum height requirements for character segmentation. And we had to decide what would give us the best reject to accept ratio of potential characters or other things that you would appear on license plates. I also participated in feedback reporting for Exmos as their Explorer boards are brand new. We provided valuable feedback to the company on how the customer experience feels to receive their hardware. My future technical accomplishments will include continued work on the character segmentation portion of the algorithm. 
Interestingly, this is the portion that does not use a neural network, and this has caused it to be the weakest link in our chain. Oftentimes, the character segmentation will grab an edge or miss a letter entirely, and we want to make sure that that's running as optimally as possible. Once we have the accuracy as high as we would like, we will need to export our network to the XMOS hardware and ensure that we are within the memory requirements of the microcontroller. We will also be selecting a camera. We'll likely be using a spy type camera and assembling the full prototype. Uh, we'll need to have a hardware case that will enable the prototype to extend some weathering and be able to sit out for several hours. I'll also be taking power consumption estimates of the prototype. Our next designer is Steven Anzavino, and he is the computer engineer on this project. Hello, everyone. Thank you for listening to this presentation. As introduced, my name is Steven. For this project, I have accumulated a more extensive collection of images that we can use to test the efficacy of our networks. The plate reading algorithm we have selected utilizes two networks, and while the data for them came with a set of test images, we needed a wider variety of images to test suboptimal camera quality. Pictured are two license plates that have been collected to test the quality of the character detection algorithm and second network. These are very clear images and allow us to confirm that in optimal cases, the algorithm properly finds and identifies the shown characters. The next thing was to trim the data set we used to train the character recognition. We found that the data set used contained a number of pictures, which we found were unreasonable situations to expect this network to have to detect. Therefore, we removed those examples of characters and reran the training of the algorithm. Next semester, I aim to improve the efficacy of the contouring algorithm. Currently, the contouring algorithm that we use is part of the OpenCV library, and while effective for many cases, leaves situations where performance could be improved. This algorithm also uses a number of other OpenCV functions to process the images. I will be attempting to replace as many of these as possible to remove the necessity of loading the OpenCV library to the Explorer board. Removing this library will save space on the Explorer board, which can be sensitive to the amount of data that is loaded onto it. I will be selecting a hardware case that is capable of holding our system together for demonstrations. This case has to be able to allow the camera and Wi-Fi access to and from the board, or otherwise could be modified to do so. I will work to enable the system to be able to communicate wirelessly with servers this communication will allow the board to be remotely updated or to provide a centralized location where any boards can send the data they are collecting. Lastly, I will be working to fix any errors that arise when we bring the system together as a whole in April. This will be one of the first projects even implemented on this new platform. As such, it will set expectations both internally and with prospective customers about what xcore.ai is best suited for. Integrating sensors and intelligence on embedded devices without sending high bandwidth data to the cloud is a widely shared business need. Achieving the ABO will show the market that xcore.ai is well suited to fulfilling this need. Xcore has allowed us to have maximum flexibility and creativity when solving this problem which will allow us to view this device from the perspective of a customer. Lastly, this project will allow XMOS to present this product's capabilities to any prospective buyers. In the future, we will have to perform operations on the neural networks we are using to get them to fit onto the xcore.ai board. Network conversion and size quantization will shrink the memory space needed to hold the network many times. Then we will work to export the shrunken model to our boards to ensure it all fits and that the board properly functions with the data we provide. We will work to select a camera so that our boards can receive data for processing. We have to ensure that the cameras are of high enough quality to view the license plates. Then we assemble the boards. 
soldering the cameras to the ports, and ensuring proper communications between the camera and the software. We are confident that we will be able to achieve our ABO by April. If we accomplish our ABO before April, we will discuss with our technical director to determine additional goals and features that would aid this project. Kyle and I would like to thank all of the people who have helped make this project possible. Our wonderful technical director, Andrew Cavanaugh, who brings knowledge of hardware and helps us sort through the rapidly changing user guides. Najib Ishak, a grad student who has been a great help in understanding the networks and has made many helpful suggestions. Alex DiPitrio, who has helped us with all of the capstone-related documentation. Dr. Sunak, who organizes this entire program so that we can work with industry professionals. And lastly, Harrison Decker and Elazer Lopez, who have helped us utilize URI's AI lab and set up a laptop so that we can remote into to perform most of our network training. Thank you all for listening.